man. We had little technical difficulties, man. I want to go back into it, man. All right. Uh, I want to jump, uh, change the spirit, man, and go into that new covenant, man. All right. Deal with that new covenant in the uh, book of Galatians, man. All right. In uh, Galatians chapter 4, and verse 21, it says, tell, tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? Do you not hear the law? Talking to those who desire to be under the law, such as those uh, 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 wicked Pharisees, man, those that don't believe in Yahweh Shai, basically. All right? Because according to Yahweh Shai in the New Covenant, man, all right, the New Testament, we under the New Covenant. All right, so this is Paul speaking to those who desire to be under the law. All right, do ye not hear the law? All right, let's read on. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. We know those sons is referring to Isaac and uh, Ishmael. All right, that's uh, Abraham's two sons, man. The one by the bond woman. All right, the bond woman and the other by the free. And we know that's referring to Hagar and uh, Rebecca. All right. Verse uh, 23. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh. All right. So when you read, let's let's get a precept. Let me show you what that's referring to. says this is a uh, Roman this Romans chapter uh, 9 and verse 4 uh, we'll start at verse 3 for I wish for I wish that myself was a curse from Christ for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh all right which are who are Israelites all right so Paul was an Israelite this was referring this to to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law all right so that's who received the laws all right in the in the uh wilderness all right that that uh covenant all right that first and uh last covenant all right uh the adoption through yahweh shah all right so it says and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of of god yahweh and the promises, that promise that he gave to Abraham, man. All right? Before the law, okay? Remember, the promises that he gave to Abraham came before the law. All right? So it says, who are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Christ came, Yahweh Shai came. All right? That's those who was going to obtain that uh, promise, man inherit that promise that the Lord gave to Abraham. Those who believe in who? Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Who, who would be under the new covenant? That that would be the new covenant, man. This new testament, this new contract. All right? Not the old contract, man, but the new. Thank you, Lord. Yes, man. All right? So it says... Who are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, blessed forever, our man, not as though the word of the power have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are Israel. All right? It's, it's, it's referring to the elect, man. Okay? Those who follow. All right? You have a shot, man. All right? So it says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham, are they are they all children but in isaac all right in isaac shall thy seed be called all right we know that is they which are children of the flesh these are not the children of god but the children of the promise all right and that promise is the lord man all right that's the lord all right that new testament that new contract man all right? That's who that promise is referring to, man. Those that believe in him. 
Okay? So it says, for this is the word of promise at this time with I, which I come and Sarah shall have a son. All right, Sarah, so lucky I think I said uh, Rebecca, but I meant to say Sarah. All right, that was Abraham's uh, wife. All right, Sarah. Uh, so reading on, it says, Verse, uh, verse 11, and not only, and not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the promise of God according to election. All right, so it's about the elect, man. All right, like Paul say, he endured all things for the elect's sake, man. All right, not for the world, man. All right, not for the world, all right. Lean on. So it says, uh, to the election might stand not of works, but of him that calleth. All right, not of your works, man. All right, so, that old contract, all right, that was, that's to show your works, man, all right? This this is referring to the chosen, man, those who was called, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man, all right? Those that believe in Yahweh Shah, like it says in uh, uh, the book of John, book of John chapter, what did that say, 14 and 23? John 14, 23 says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, if a man love me, he will keep my words. All right? And you already know the Lord's words is in the book, man. Okay? Which we are commanded not to what? Add, take away. All right? Why? Because they're prayer words, man. Okay? Tried seven times in the furnace. All right? And the Lord commanded us to keep those words forever. All right? forever so it says how was I answered and said unto him if a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him so if you want to be loved by the heavenly father you keep the sayings of your how all right that's the example okay so it says and we will come unto him and make our abode with him he that loveth me he that loveth me not, keepeth not my saint. And that's why you got guys teaching all these uh, weird doctrines, man. All right? So it says, he that loveth me not, keepeth my saint, keepeth not my saint. And the word which ye hear is not mine. So this ain't even his doctrine. All right? This is the doctrine from up on high, man. All right? This is the heavenly father, man. Remember, uh, Yahweh Shai said, uh, what was given to him, he broke bread with his friends, man. Okay? These guys not keeping uh, his words, man. They keeping their elders' words. They keeping Isaac Newton's words. All right? They keeping uh, 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 what? They elder words. Okay? But now they are keeping the words of Yahweh Shai, man. So it says, so it says, uh, not my sayings and the words which you hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. All right, so when you follow Yahweh Shai, you follow in the Heavenly Father, man. All right, remember all things was given to Him, man. All right, we're commanded to follow Him. All right, and, and by doing that, you're pleasing the Most High. That's how you please the Most High, man. Do Yahweh Shai, not do your own works, man. All right. And when it refers to keeping his sayings, meaning keeping his commandments, all right? Because these guys like to twist the Bible up, man, all right? So it's referring to Yahweh Shah's commandments, man, all right? Not the, uh, the, the uh, Mosaic law, man, all right? Not referring to the sayings of Aaron. It's talking about the commandments of Yahweh Shah, all right? Uh, we can read on. It says, these things have I spoken unto you, 
being yet present with you, but the comforter, which is the Bible, all right, not that guy uh, who got arrested for uh, for uh, uh, for money fraud, man, stealing from the church, all right, like the rest of all of them doing, you know, all right, so it says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the word that's written in the book, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things. And that's that wisdom uh, that Solomon, that knowledge that Solomon acquired about all things that we read about in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 17. That's what it's referring to, man. All right? It says, whom the Father will send in my name, and he shall teach you, meaning through the words that's written in the book, shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance on how the earth was created, the beginning, all right? Remember, that wasn't written by Moses, man. Moses was handed two tablets of stone written with the finger of God, man, all right? So that, that when you read the book of Genesis, man, and, and read uh, about the creation, man, that's straight from on high, man, all right? That's the words of the Heavenly Father. So it says, but the comforter, which is the Holy, Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. All right? Not NASA, man. The Bible. All right? So it says, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. All right? And that's the point on that. Let's go back uh, to that Romans, man. Uh, hold on. That's a lot. Back to that Galatians. All right. So we're going to pick up at verse 9. But now, after that, ye have known the power, or rather, are known of, of, known of power, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage. All right. Remember how we started it off. This is to them that desire to be under the law. Do ye not hear the law? All right? Paul is referring to the law as bondage, man. All right? Remember that New Testament, that new contract, that new covenant, all right, is that promise that the Lord made to Abraham way before the law, 430 years before the law. All right? So it says, uh, let's see here. Verse 10. Ye observe days and months and times and years i am afraid of you lest i have bestowed upon you labor in vain brethren i beseech you be as i am for i am as ye are ye have not injured me at all uh salah let's read on ye know how through infirmities of the flesh i preach the gospel so that's what paul preached the gospel man even though he was the Pharisees of Pharisees. All right, so this is Paul telling you he preached the gospel. All right, the new contract, man. Okay? So let's read that again, verse 13. This is Galatians 4 and 13. Ye know how through infirmities of the flesh I preach the gospel unto you at the first. Not the law, man. All right, that came later. All right, he say, hey, man, you know... You know, the law say this, the law say that. But the Gospels, man, that's what you're supposed to preach first. All right? That's the good news. All right? That's the good news, man. So it says, And my temptations which was in my flesh, ye despised not, nor rejected, but received me as an angel of the power, meaning a messenger of God. That's what the word angel means. All right? That's why Paul referring to himself as an angel. Meaning he was a messenger of God, man. All right? So it says, But receive me as an angel of God, even as Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right? Where is then the blessedness ye, ye sparked of, ye spake of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, ye have, ye have plucked out your own eyes and have given them unto me. All right? So it says, let's let's jump around some. Okay. I want to jump down some. 
So it says, verse 24, which things are an allegory. I got to go to 23. But he, but he was of the bond woman. All right, and it's picking up, all right, where I went and read that precept in uh, Romans. All right, so it says, but he was of the bond woman, was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was born, was, was by the promise. All right, not by the law, but by the promise. Which things are an allegory, all right, a metaphor, all right? Remember the Bible written in what? Dark sayings, parables, all right? And Proverbs, man. So that's what an allegory is referring to. For these are the two covenants, all right? So you have what? The old covenant and you got the new covenant. The one from Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar. All right, that's what he, he's using it as an allegory. So he says the law, all right, which uh, the Israelite received in Mount Sinai is bondage. All right, referring to it as the bond woman. All right, remember Israel is referred to a woman. All right, so he's referring to those who's uh, in bondage under the law. All right, under that old covenant, he's referring to them as the bond woman. Okay, which is Hagar. All right, for this Hagar is Mount Sinai. All right, uh, referring to the law. In Arabia and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all, not Africa. For it is written, Rejoice thou burden that beareth not, break forth and cry. Thou that travaileth not, for the desolate have many more children than, than she which is than she which have an husband. Now we brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. All right, the children of promise, not the children under the, the, the old covenant, man. All right, the children of promise, which is all right, the Lord Himself, man. That same promise that He made to Abraham. All right. That's who it's referring to. The promise is Yahweh Shah, man. All right? So uh, let's see where we at. Verse 29. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him. All right? Those that's under the law. All right? They persecuted him that was born after the spirit. Even so it is now. And that's why those guys get on me about wearing garments and, and hats and stuff, man. So the Apostle Paul breaking it down to you, man. All right? About the two covenants, man. Okay? Referring to what? The old covenant as bondage. All right? The bond woman. All right? And the new covenant as the promise. All right? That's the promise. All right? And part of that promise is repentance. All right? Forgiveness of sin. That's part of that promise. All right? That's not part of the old covenant, man. That's the new covenant. So it says, nevertheless, it says, nevertheless, what saith the scripture? All right? That's, that's the point. The scripture. All right? Not what your elders say, man. The point is the scripture. All right? So it says, nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Can it cast out the bond woman? Cast out the bond woman, referring to the law. All right? and her son, all right, those that's desired to be under that law, all right, not referring to Ishmael specifically, it's referring to those who's, who are uh, desire to be under the law, all right, remember this is an allegory, okay, this is an allegory, and all you one West guys teach that we under the old covenant, all right, that's what you guys teach, man, all right, you guys teach that we're under the order of Aaron, man, and we're, we're supposed to wear garments. Remember, we that royal priesthood, man. All right? We're not the uh, 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 under the order of Aaron, man. We're not under that old covenant, man. That was only for Levites. All right? The priesthood was only for Levites anyway. It wasn't for all the tribes, man. Okay? So for you guys claiming to be priests of the Most High, man, you're going off. All right, unless you come through the order of Melchizedek, that royal priesthood, which is Yahweh Shah, and you confess and, and preach the gospel, all right, 
the good news, all right? So we know it says, nevertheless, what said the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman, which is the law, and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heirs with the sons of the free woman. All right, and we know the free woman is those under that promise, under that new covenant that's going to be delivered by Yahweh Shah, man. So you're not going to take a part in that. That's why the Lord said your place, all right, from amongst the elect, going to be, t be taken from the holy city, man. You're not going to be part of the holy city, man. All right? Because you, you're righteous, you can't uh, uh, be righteous through the law, man. You're going to fall short, man. Yahweh Shah is our righteousness, man. That's the righteousness of the saints. Those garments, that fine linen, not the law, man. All right? That fine linen, which is Yahweh Shai, which is what? That shield of faith, all right? Which is the spirit you're supposed to put on, and you're supposed to wear that garment all the time, man. All right? So it says, uh, verse 31, it says, So then, brethren, we are not children... All right, I want you brothers to listen to this closely, man. So then, brother, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. All right, so we're not children of the bondwoman, man. We're not 